Uh, What's up guys, yeah, welcome to Gamer Nation. Uh, I'm not dressed like this because I wanted to feel pretty. I lost the challenge He's yet again. dressed like this because he has to feel pretty. Do, Do you feel pretty though? No, I don't. Oh, so pretty. No. You look very you pretty. pretty. I feel like that Looney Tunes witty. character, the, the goose that and had the baby's yay. bonnet and the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was obscure. Anyways guys, today we're talking about furries, but not those weird Freaky we're talking about Jovan's chest hair, yeah. essentially. <laughs> oh, God, this is the worst. <laughs> Anyways, we're talking about superheroes that are not of human origin. Superheroes are just video Our game Our video game here. heroes, yeah. protagonists. God, I feel like an idiot right now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't you just, so why don't you just throw right it to someone? Oh yeah, my so gosh. Nice. Yeah, you should turn around and show people your tattoos. <laughs> I have tattoos. Come on, turn, show them something pretty. Something pretty, Josh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a bladed wiener on your back? Today's <laughs> <laughs> are going to talk about characters yes. that aren't human in video games. Oh, there's a lot of unique characters out there, unlike your sword tattoo, which isn't very unique you know, at all. If you want to talk about I unique mean, characters, I'd say the laser corn. The laser corn. Yet to be in a video game, though. That um, is going to happen, guaranteed. Someone's going to make that Flash game. It's got to be I would there. love do to it. see it. Someone do it. There's a game by Adult Swim, like the Robot, robot unicorn. unicorn. It's pretty close. Attack. A robot. I don't know if he has lasers, though. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He but he, should, or, like, or he jumps cool. rainbows. Does he have a missile launcher? Oh uh, gosh, what does he have? I can't remember. But I know he soars from like Is platform to platform. He's powered by rainbow unicorn. He's powered by <laughs> unicorn. Always, unicorn. I want to be unicorn. Uh, what's another? I didn't really play a lot of games with furry characters. I guess I played a little bit of Banjo Kazooie. Mm -hmm. Banjo Kazooie, that Banjo -Kazooie, Kazooie, good one. Still one of the best Nintendo 64 yeah. games. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but there's but, even like sidekicks like Yoshi. Yoshi mm. is a fantastic. He's not furry though. He's scaly. <laughs> I love you. Yoshi. Yeah. I was thinking of okay. him. He's, yeah. a, he's okay. a non human. Uh, Are we just talking protagonist. about non, non human? Non human. Yeah, non -human. Like okay. a cartoony form. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, I like Yoshi. Yoshi. Like, <laughs> obviously, a classic would be Sonic. When you had like, oh, right. the two franchises going head to head, you had Mario, who was a human, and you had Sonic, who was a hedgehog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so maybe you, you just don't see too much of that these days. Like, right. uh, I think some of the best non human video game heroes were like the beginning of the PlayStation, where Naughty Dog was doing stuff like. Crash Bandicoot, yeah. mm -hmm. Spyro. Mm -hmm. uh, Spyro Team Rico's Spyro. Rage is one of my favorite games that was on PlayStation. Spyro is amazing. I like Spyro, I liked Crash. Back on the Sega, I, I used to play a lot of those games. I played a game called Bubsy, where you're this like bunny rabbit jumping around. Wait, Bubsy? Bubsy was a cat, wasn't he? Like an orange. He was, top he was cat? either he was an orange cat or bunny rabbit. I don't fully remember. I just remember he was a cute little animal. <laughs> I think uh, I think things. Bubsy was was the cat. Uh, uh, do you have any obscure games with no. uh, furry characters? No, I don't have any. No, I don't have any obscure uh, furry characters. But I would like to like, I mean, start not that off any of by, you would have ever yeah. heard of. <laughs> I would like to preface all this by saying, like, what I think is really cool about the the furry characters or animal characters in games is that, is that they are so iconic, but none of them speak. Like none of them have like actual voices. They just have. I uh, disagree. Speech. Star Fox. Well, not none of them. Uh, okay, a lot of them uh, <laughs> don't. Speak. Sonic technically speaks. In Star Fox is awesome, by the way. I want to mention that one. Yeah, Star Fox. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Star mm -hmm. Fox is fantastic. Like the the whole team of furry yeah. animals. Oh. What is what is really interesting is like we're going back to some of our favorite games with with non-human characters. And I can you even take me seriously right now? Absolutely. Yeah, continue, continue. I'm continue. looking at your no, eyes. No one's paying attention. Um, Up here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't see that very much anymore. Like, it's it's all more realistic. Um, like, you have humans, you have your Nathan Drakes, you have mm -hmm. your, even like the like obscure crazy games, like um, like Bulletstorm, that's a, that's a human character. Duke Nukem, as, human character. As far as mainstream games go, I would definitely agree with you, but then there's there's all sorts of weird, like indie games and stuff. He's Super Meat Boy, True. Mm -hmm. you got that uh, Incredipede game that just came out. There's, so, in that argument, then, is there no room for fuzzy characters in mainstream games anymore? Right here, we actually have a Ratchet and Clank game. Oh, uh, yeah. But they don't That's really, true. like, when they do release, it's not like, oh my god, it's the new Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah. Like, this is the game we've been waiting eight months for. Right. You got Rayman. Rayman's coming the out. Raving the Raving Rabbids. Now, yes, now on multi-platform. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So that's a little bit not nearly as much as it used to be, but that was also because it right. was easier to make sprites back mm -hmm. then, whereas now we can add more detail to our games to have right. uh, some good-looking heroes. <laughs> well, I, I wore my I wore my Mario and a Tanuki suit necklace for, today. Aww, for nice. today's, no for today's topic. Just I today. wonder if, thank you, thank you. I wonder <laughs> if, and this is just something off the top of my head, I wonder if those characters were more prominent back then because the technology didn't exist to create a really good looking human character. Do you know what I mean? That could I be do a know point. What you mean. Also, yeah. Nintendo has been sleeping on their game, man. 
Nintendo, you know, we talked about Yoshi and Donkey Kong. Yeah. Where is Nintendo and Star Fox? Where is Nintendo with the new games? There's no games for the Wii U. Maybe if we got a new Star Fox right. or something, it or a new, even a new Donkey this. Kong or something like that, we could get it up again. I know. Nintendo needs to wake up. And, Basically, you know. what Lasercorn's saying is he'd like to get it up for Nintendo. <laughs> yes. 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 Basically, Ever what Lasercorn's saying is I bought a Wii U, damn it. I'll come out with some games. <laughs> So right there, you, you have it. Us adults will still buy video games with cartoony looking characters. The game just has to be good. So give us something good. Like this. Like yeah, what I can give you. <laughs> Never yeah. make a game with that, ever. Yeah. Uh, but or hey, anything uh, else besides this video with that, ever. <laughs> yeah, just this shouldn't exist ever yeah. again. Anyways, that's enough of our opinions. Now it's time to go to you guys with a segment we call Tweets from the Fans. All right, so we're gonna go to the tweets now. Just, uh, where did I put them? Oh, I put them over here. <laughs> Let me just bend down to pick one up. Just Jordan, like when you do that, you're supposed that. to flex. Oh, I'm sorry, you were flexing. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so we asked you guys true. who some of your favorite non-human video game characters were. And first up is my name is Claytor. <laughs> says Kirby because he looks delicious. Kind of depend depends on the inflection in which you say it, like. Man, Kirby looks delicious. Or like, man, Kirby looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you're really good at that. Yeah. He is a giant marshmallow. <laughs> yes. You can only assume that he, he tastes like a marshmallow too. Yeah. <laughs> what would a Kirby Maybe? taste like? Are you saying Maybe that you want candy. Kirby all up in your mouth? Is I would say cotton saying? candy. Yeah. Cotton candy. Because uh, he's pink. Still delicious. Yes. Uh, cotton candy, candy is delicious. He looks like a peep. <laughs> oh, he does look like a they peep. They should make Kirby yes. peeps. <gasps> I, I would eat those. I would eat Get, out of Get on those. it. No, that's not that horrible. That this horrible, is just going to turn into a 10 minute tangent about wanting to eat Kirby. I know. I have a Kirby keychain. I love him. <laughs> and then he's like, and, you're like, and oh. then he poops you yeah. out. Yeah, I guess he is kind of disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we have um, Julian Konowitz. Says, is he I, Japanese? Yeah, why does <laughs> Kanowitz doesn't sound like a Japanese? Okay, it's probably more Kanowitz. Kanowitz. Julian Kanowitz. Nice. Says, I gotta say my favorite non-human hero was Sonic only because he was always a little cocky. I find that hilarious. Yeah. I think that obviously you can you can have a great character who's, who's silent like like uh, Crash Bandicoot, but he's great because of all the, the just the, the attitude attitude that he has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect. He's he's a little more he's cocky without even saying anything. Same thing with with new Sonic. He's yeah. I never do. Tapping his foot. It's like well, all right, guys. Like, all right. <laughs> or or uh, during the game over screen where he's just kind of sitting there like, oh, all right, you can push start, you can push start. Yeah, oh. he's like, you Does suck. he get bored when he's underwater and drowning? I don't remember. Because if, <laughs> he does if something I, underwater, If I ever yeah. saw him doing that underground, I'm, underwater, I'd just be like, all right, time's going to run out. It's like, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> <laughs> I stop being a douche, Sonic. Next up, and finally, we have uh, Forma Jared, Forma Jeremid. Hmm. I guess that's how that would be pronounced. And he says, Banjo and Kazooie, I played that game till I was burnt out. That was my childhood. Banjo Kazooie is a, a perfect example. Like it was a game that we we loved. It was a great non-human character. Play. But then when they re-released it for the Xbox, it was or like they made a, a, another one for Xbox. It's like you know what this this isn't as cool. Or is this, I didn't play the fun. new one at all. I don't. Maybe their marketing was bad, or maybe the game was just bad. But I didn't hear anything good about it. I literally and I just, never. I just overlooked it completely. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't play the. Did you play? I never I played a. Uh, no, no, not even. You never played a game. No. A game. I know. I was gonna say a game. Never played a game. Like horrible. No, no, no. Uh, I've only, I've Jim only played the games none of you've ever heard of. Ben <laughs> <laughs> Kazooie was a great like, like N64 platformer that was like up there with with Mario 64. I think. Well, mm -hmm. Mario 64 was better, but yeah. Oh yeah, it was better, but it was up there. It was yeah. good. It was good. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for sending your uh, your your tweets from the fans, from you guys, to us, so that we can read them. Feats from the twins. Feats from twins. And uh, now, we stuff. move on to a segment where one of our gamers battles another one of our gamers in a battle of wits, a war of words. It's a segment we call PvP. All right, guys, PvP here. It is the Jovenshire against Lasercorn. Lasercorn will be defending Star Fox in a battle of which furry character will win in a fight. Jovenshire will be doing Sonic. I will they be each doing have, Sonic. Yes. Star Fox, he will crush you. Star Fox versus Sonic. Uh, each gentleman has 30 seconds to debate their character and then a 15 second rebuttal. Who wants to go first? I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take Sonic. Go ahead. Going first. Okay. Um, he's, yeah. he's wait, oh, wait, wait, I'm oh, very wait. sure of yourself. You're like, oh, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no
<laughs> okay, ready in three, two, start. All right, first of all, the physical proof is out there. You've got Super Smash Brothers where you have Sonic who can go against Star Fox, and guess what? Sonic is too fast to be touched. Even if you just want to take this into a cartoon world, like he's gonna be running circles around Star Fox in his blaster. Even if he jumps in an R wing or a tank, we are talking about the fastest animal alive. He will like find, like he'll run super far away, get a bazooka, come back and just shoot the, the, the R wing or the, the tank, whatever the tank was called. You can't beat a character who just will run laps around you. Why is the flash Stop. so? Stop. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds, no laser corn. Into that now. Star Fox and, uh, oh, reset and go. First of all, your argument is invalid because you're wearing a bikini. Mm. Secondly, <laughs> Sonic's final smash in Smash Brothers is weak. He just turns into a gold thing and goes around and around and it's like, yeah, I'm Sonic and I'm gold and I think I'm better than you. No. What does Star Fox do? He calls in a mother tank and he's like, fucking land tank, fuck you, and he messes everyone's day up. Now, he's also got a whole posse behind him. Who's Sonic got? Tails? Tails is weak. He's weak sauce and he's just a little tag along sidekick. Star Fox will call Stop. him Peppy. He'll call him Falco. They'll bomb Stop. him. They'll bomb him no. till he's dead. <laughs> Null and void that Obama last five seconds. <laughs> Obama till he's dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 15 second rebuttal. Jeb and Jar, go. All right, ladies, going. You just made this really simple for me. Uh, first of all, it's not just tails. It's Knuckles too, and he will just fly his giant fist in your tank and destroy it. And if you try to in use the tank? tank in Super Smash Brothers, you can't navigate. You can't move that well. Again, Sonic will just go around that without the tank even know where he's at. Stop. Okay. All right, 15 seconds, laser corn, and go! You want to talk about Knuckles? How about Great Fox? How about we call in a bombardment from the giant flying ship? Ariel, he won't even see it coming. It'll come from the atmosphere. It'll be like, I'm Sonic. I'm just going to take you on in a fight. BAM! Aerial bombardment, lasers, and freaking missiles. Our wings Stop. swooping down. It's over. <laughs> over. It was that, over. That, that was great, gentlemen. That, that was great. That was a very impressive uh, that was argument a great, debate. great Fox there, but... It's, guys, it's up to you. Who won here, Sonic or Star Fox? Who's gonna win? Or do, you, do we just need to pull out Super Smash Brothers for a little uh, Sonic versus Star Fox? Are you trying fight? to issue another challenge to Laser Crown? <laughs> nope, nope. I'm not very <laughs> good with Star Fox. Again, guys, thank you. you play so thank you, guys. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching Gamer Nation today. Uh, if you want to know why, I went. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what happened just there? Oh my me. God! <laughs> How scandalous no. of you! Yes. I had a nipple no. slip. Wardrobe <laughs> oh, oh, right. malfunction. Yeah, Anyways, guys, if you want to know why I'm wearing a bikini, you, uh, uh, go ahead and click the annotation. Hold I'm gonna link it down. in the description below. Uh, it was me and Lazy Crumb playing Have some Kart dignity, 64. man. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, it was quite the match. You guys was, should definitely watch that was. one. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Gamer Nation. We'll see you next time. Later. Boobies. Yeah!